Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. I wanted to make today's video because one of my subscribers suggested I make a video about this. I haven't really had the energy to make this video, but it's about how to handle seasonal affective disorder, seasonal depression, the winter blues. Millions of people deal with seasonal affective disorder and they don't even know it. Those of us who have been diagnosed, it's just a label. Now, I can't stress enough how important stress is dealing with stress whether it be physical emotional psychological whatever type of stress you're dealing with deal with it delaying tackling stress will only make your seasonal affective disorder worse it won't make you feel any better why is that stress is the number one cause of of the depletion of B vitamins. It sucks up your B vitamins like holy hell. Even when you go into the pharmacy or your local <clears throat> convenience store, wherever you get your vitamins from, you'll see vitamin B complex with the label stress complex on it because v B vitamins deal with stress. And B vitamins are also very important to make things like serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine, as well as the things that come before them and after them. So if you can't make serotonin, you can't make melatonin, and you can't make energy, you can't make dopamine to feel happy, it sucks. So you feel down, you feel out, you feel tired all the time, you feel like napping, you feel like you have no motivation, you feel like you don't want to do anything, people annoy you. You're annoyed at yourself. You're annoyed at everything. You're agitated. No energy. Lack of motivation. It's just a never-ending laundry list of symptoms that you deal with in the wintertime. So, me personally, I've had stress going on in my life with my job. I had an injury at my job. Been dealing with my job and workers' comp, yada, yada, yada. But I've been delaying. I'm a big procrastinator. I hate doing things. I hate stress. But for some reason, me personally, whenever a stressor comes into my life, I try and avoid it. But what happens is stress starts here, and you get another stressful thing, and another, and another, and another, and another, and it just builds up till you can't see over it anymore. And then you become down and out because stress has just killed your mood. I know there's plenty of people who's gonna who are gonna watch this video and they've had a hard time falling asleep when they're stressed out. Why is that? Because you need B vitamins to be able to create serotonin into melatonin. So you can't sleep. So now you're tired, you have no energy, no motivation, you're pissed off, not happy, and you can't sleep. It's a terrible combination. It sucks feeling tired all day long, feeling depressed. It sucks feeling anxious. It sucks. Everything sucks about seasonal affective disorder. And some people have different levels of it. Some people have a harder time dealing with it. And usually most people will turn to self-medication, to alcohol, to drugs, to bad habits and it's just a mask of what's really truly going on to get out of that struggle but the real way to get out of that struggle the healthy way is to take care of yourself to take care of what's going on in your life me I've had weeks to file this paper I have a week left to get this paper in and I'm finally doing it today and why because I haven't had any motivation I haven't had a drive to do what's necessary for my body. And that's part of seasonal affective disorder. Part of the winter blues is to stop you from feeling better. Is to stop you from doing anything that's going to improve your well-being. That's part of what you're dealing with. It's a major part of what you're dealing with. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. I haven't taken a vitamin in weeks. And how have I felt in weeks? Like shit. I felt like complete garbage. I must have drank two to three cups of coffee a day 
in the last two to three weeks just because of the stress and how I've been feeling and how tired I've been. And it's, all, it's just my own fault. It's I know I have the power over seasonal affective disorder. I know what it takes to get through the winter. Have I been doing it? No. But I'm here to tell you how and how I'm going to start up again. You just take care of yourself. You take your vitamins, take your supplements. Exercise is a great way to relieve stress. If you have other ways of relieving stress, do them. Because stress just builds up and it eats your B vitamins. And it's so essential to have them in your body every single day. B vitamin, B vitamin, B vitamin, and D vitamins. D is in David. Because you can't get that amount, that necessary amount from the sunlight. And even some in the summertime and springtime still can't get enough D vitamins because they work office jobs. You know, and they don't, they don't see much sunlight. So they'll be in a down mood. That person who's in the office, who's reaching for their second cup of coffee at 10 o'clock in the morning, they're tired. And that's not a great thing to just keep drinking coffee and coffee and coffee because that also depletes your B vitamins. So, once you have your stress under control, once you've dealt with as many stressors as possible, there's some that you can't just get rid of overnight, but there's a lot that you can take care of overnight. Once you have those in check, you'll start to feel better. You'll start to feel more energetic, more happy. <coughs> less stressed there's a no brainer you're going to start to feel all around good which is an excellent thing now it's not going to be as good as you're going to feel after seasonal affective disorder season is gone but you're going to feel a hell of a lot better than you did beforehand and things like alcohol that's going to kill your B vitamins things like drugs your, your brain and your body, they have to heal itself after a night of drinking or a couple of nights of drinking or weeks of drinking or weeks of doing drugs or weeks of a bad habit. That's not an overnight thing. Your body has to heal. And you may go through some anxiety, some depression, but that's all part of it to get healthy. Your body changes and doesn't change overnight. So you take care of yourself. You make sure you're doing your best as possible. You can control seasonal affective disorder. You can say, okay, I'm going to eat today. I'm going to take my vitamins right after I eat. <clears throat> I'm going to go to bed at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11 o'clock. And you know yourself better than I do. Get your essential amount of sleep, your necessary amount of sleep every night. If you know that you need 9 hours... Get 9 hours. If you know that you feel groggy as hell, if you get 10, don't sleep past 9 hours. Whether it be 6 hours, 7 hours, 8 hours, any adult, it's recommended 7 to 9 hours a night. That's a scientific proven fact. Me, I'm a 9 hour guy. I love sleeping. I just do. Sleeping's great. But been my... I've been having a hard time getting to sleep, but once I do, I stay asleep for far too long. So you want to make sure that you get your circadian rhythm back in check after all your stressors are gone or dealt with as, be as best as possible. And sleep is a major part of this. Major Sleep, even when you're sick, whatever whatever's ailing you, sleep helps you heal. And if you can't sleep, you have to find out a way how to. And do it health, the, the healthiest way possible. Because when you sleep, you heal. And if you're doing it in a healthy way, that's just going to be more, more beneficial for you in the long run. So guys, just tackle your stressors. Take your vitamins. Do what's best for you. Go to sleep at the same time every night. And wake up at the same time every day. It gets your body in a routine. If you're having a hard time waking up in the morning, set an appointment, set a date, set whatever you can that you have to do by 9 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. You have to do it. You have to get your ass out of bed and go and fucking do it. It's a big part of seasonal affective disorder is sleeping and sleeping and sleeping. 
But if you have a routine, if your body's set in a routine, it knows when to trigger you to wake up, when to trigger you to fall asleep. It's all a routine, it's all a cycle, and it goes like a circle. That's really it for today, guys. I hope everyone's doing well. Hopefully you're dealing with seasonal affective disorder better than I am this year. I kicked its ass last winter, but it's kicking my ass this winter. So hopefully everyone's doing well. Keep your heads up, keep fighting, and keep surviving. And I'll see you in the next one. Be well.